this video I'm going to show you how to change the hits for a Joomla article. Not get you more hits, uh, where the hits are counted. Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Money number 127 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel. Thank you for your support of this channel. Thanks for tuning in. We'll get right to the topic and then in a little while after that we'll get to chat and uh, talk about things and catch up as we usually do. So let's turn our attention to the computer. Head on over to basicjoomla.com forward slash giveaways. Sign up for the newsletter for a chance to win some great Joomla prizes. And once you're signed up, you're automatically entered every month. So it's like effortless and I hardly ever send it out. In fact, the other day I noticed there's one I had all lined up and I never sent it out. So I promise not to jam your inbox. All right, so uh, why would you want to change the hits for an article that you have in Joomla? Let's say, for instance, you have an error page and it has the most hits of all of your pages, as error pages probably would over time. And when, it's, when you're displaying articles based by popularity, you don't want your 404 page at the very top. Or maybe you've moved content over from another site, copied over some pages and you put it in, and you want it to have an accurate number of hits that it had on the other site, or maybe you have something that you always want to be at the top of a list of articles um, when sorted by popularity, so you want to jam that to a high number. So I'm going to show you two methods today. One is in the core. Uh, well, not, one does not involve any extra extensions. And then the other one does involve an extra extension. And I think it's a much easier way, so stay tuned for that. But we kind of look at core first, or try to, so I will show you how to do that. And the other thing that you need to remember is that we're going to be monkeying around in the database, so make sure that you back up your, um, your Joomla site before doing this, or at least back up your database, so that if you do something wrong or make a mistake, as sometimes I do, uh, you'll be able to go back. All right, so let's check out an article here. We'll go content and articles. All right. Now, uh, here's my most recent one, Joomla's Forum for the Future. It's got a whopping five hits. We'll click, we'll go in there, and we'll see down somewhere. I think it's publishing options that it shows where hits are. Yeah, five hits right here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go right into the database, as I said, and we're going to find the uh, entry, which is this article, and then we're going to change the hits manually. All right. So let's see here. I have already logged into the control panel of the hosting account uh, that I have uh, this site running on. I'm going to go to PHP My Admin. So this is a tool that allows you to look right into the database of your Joomla site. Now you need to know which database you're using. I obviously I have a lot of data, a lot of site installs here from different tutorials and things that I've done. Uh, so I know that basic Jew underscore basic Joomla is the database that I'm using. Now, if you don't know which database um, you're using, you can't remember, I actually had to look. Just go to uh, your system global config and look in the database tab and you'll see the name. So I know that it's basicjoomla.com. Now we could just search for the uh, title of this, but let's just be a little bit more precise in our searching because this is it this hits is recorded in the content table all right so we're gonna go scroll down to um, the content table and here we have it the prefix of my database is cyb and then we have underscore content you'll see here there's 137 that's about well, that is how many articles i have and now we can just click on browse no actually i'm sorry we yeah click on Click on browse. Sorry, I'm a little bit of steps here. Okay, click on actually click on search. That's what I want to do. Now we want to find um, the line that is for this content, and we're going to search by the title. The title is right here: Joomla's Forum for the Future. And you might try something like this. Uh, here's title where the title is like and we go control and then we can hit enter and search and there is the exact title and this is our line now just to show you something else that you could do 
Uh, oh, here we go. We went way too far back. Cyber assault, the cyber content, uh, search. You could also just look for a certain word that's in there, and you'll see I have this before. If we put percentage forum, percentage, and then search, it will show us everything that has forum in the title. So we use the full title that worked, but that's another way that you can search. And we'll see that in just a second when we look at the easier method uh, using the plugin. All we have to do now is hit edit. And we're going to scroll down until we see a field called hits. And you'll see here it's five. Let's make it 55. And then at the bottom, we're going to say go. And we see all nice green lines that it was updated. Uh, set hits 55. And now when we refresh, and actually let's just close out of this. Now when we refresh, you see over here, the hits are now 55. And that's how you can change the hits for a Joomla article. Now, uh, that's doing it through your cPanel or through your web hosting and going into PH, uh, my PHP admin and then finding the cable, the, uh, sorry, the, yeah, the table and then finding the line and searching. Let me just show you a great tool that you can do all of that from right inside of Joomla. And it's a plugin from regular labs called DB Replacer. All right. So let's go to extensions, manage, and we will go to install. I'm going to open that in a new tab. And to find DB Replacer, uh, and we'll use the install from tab feature here in Joomla. Uh, we'll go DB Replacer all together. And you'll see here it is right here, DB Replacer. We can click on it and to install it on your site, uh, it's a, it, you can do this with the free version. You can then just click install and it will go on your site. Now I already have it installed on my site, so we won't do that. We will just go to components where it is and DB Replacer. And here we have a really handy dandy tool now that we can use for finding and replacing things in the database. Please, to avoid a, a, a river of tears, if you make a mistake doing this, make sure you've backed up your Joomla site. Because this, this is doing the same thing that we just did manually inside through my PHP admin. Now we're going to search a column uh, in uh, the table content where we were. Now that's the default that you go to. Notice here you can search in any table that is uh, in your database. All right, we're going to search in content. And here, it's, the default is to search in intro text or full text. And this is, that's pretty much where you do most of your finding and replacing. So for instance, I could search for every uh, instance of the word Joomla in intro text or full text. And when we search here, it's over 100 rows. And you, know, you can play around with the extension. But in this case, the search that we're going to do is we're going to search on the column hits. Uh, actually, yes, we're going to search in the column hits, but we only want to see the hits where the title has the word forum in it. And that's why up here, we're just going to type, uh, we all, the where is already there. So where title is like, and then we're going to do this, a quote, percent, forum, percent, and the quote. All right. So basically we're saying where the title is like, or has the word forum in, in it, we want to search and in hits, uh, we don't, we know what number we're looking for would be 55. Uh, and now we're just going to, uh, click search here. Now I'm not going to put anything in there because we're going to see there's only one row that shows up. And as we read these, we can look way over here and it's kind of very faded but you see here's hits and it's at 55. now the reason i show you this instead of just putting in 55 let's say that you were on a very active site and that number had changed although if that number had changed this isn't going to work for you anyways if it changes fast but here what we can here's what we can do we can put 55 in the search search for 55 and replace it with the number six now we will search again and then we'll see there's one place where that is found. So we know it's going to happen. And over here, hits, instead of 55, it's going to be six. And we're just going to say replace. And it's going to say, are you sure? 
Yes, I'm sure. Are you really sure? Have you backed this up? Come on, make sure you do that. And say, yes, okay. And now when we go back here and refresh, we'll see that the number of hits is now the number six. And of course, because it was five before, we can go and we will now change that to six and put it back to five. So it's going to look in the column hits for a field where a six occurs and where six occurs and then replace it with five. Now be super careful because um, we're searching by title like percent forum. If we weren't narrowing it down to just that one article, this would show everywhere possibly that has a six in it. So you gotta be careful. Uh, anyways, we'll go search. Ah, uh, hello, Rick. And there we go. Let's refresh here. Yes, Rick says, hello, my friend. You weren't taking any of the medication that warns you do not operate heavy equipment. No, although I will uh, say that uh, I'm going to be on some of that medication probably in March as I have another medical test. Just a regular thing. Uh, look, anyways, let's refresh here. And uh, did we refresh? It still says six. Did I forget to replace? Oh, yeah, I forgot to replace. Okay. Okay. Now, here we go. And we'll refresh. And it is back to five. So, there you have it. That's how you can change um, the hits, the hit count for an article, should you ever find the need to. And I want to thank Laura, because uh, she was mentioning this either on the channel or in a forum post I saw somewhere on Facebook about needing to change this. Uh, it's, it's not something that's right there in Joomla. You would not want to have, for instance, someone on your site putting their content on there and then gaming the system by bumping up the hits so they get listed ahead of everyone. I suppose it's something that could be added so that people with administrator access could go in and just manually change it. Uh, but it's really, once, once you very rarely ever need to do it, so it's probably not going to get a lot of coding attention to do that. Anyways, uh, so we're going to hang out and chat, but for those of you that are here just for that, thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks for your support of this channel. If you've not subscribed yet, please do so. Ring the bell to get notifications of new things happening on the channel. And uh, if you've never done it before, stick around for chat. We're not entirely, well, I say we. It's only going to be me talking, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk and chat and uh, uh, a few things to update, and we'll just uh, hang out and see what's going on. Anyway, so for those of you who are leaving, Thanks for tuning in. Enjoy your Joomla sites. God bless. And hello, everyone who's staying. Uh, yes, Rick says, is that another train thing? Okay, yeah, I, uh, uh, without going into too much of the gory details, uh, three years ago, I won a colonoscopy. Um, I won it because I passed a test. Oh, no, I didn't pass a test. I failed a test, a routine test. And so I had a colonoscopy and the medication they give you, it says do, you can't operate heavy machinery. You cannot make any business decisions for 24 hours. So it makes you pretty loopy. It's actually a nice day uh, while I was on that. But uh, anyways, the results of that test meant that I won a follow-up colonoscopy, colonoscopy in three years. And that three years is up. So... Um, in a couple of, I think tomorrow I get a call from a, the, a nurse just to make sure, check on my health. And then I will get a date for that. And then I'm going to drink some magic juice that's going to have some magical effects on me. And then I'll go in and have another colonoscopy. And uh, as unpleasant, you know, the, the prep is more unpleasant than the actual colonoscopy. Although... That is unpleasant as well, but I said to the doctor, I do not need to remember this. And so then they put me out. So that's, um, but you know what? Uh, it is better to have that uh, routine done to look for any problems than to wait for problems to cause you to go to the doctor because then it's, uh, then it's a bad scene. So um, yes, uh, Rick says it took a long time for that train to reach the station. <laughs> Um, uh, all right. What else was I going to mention? I don't, uh, let me just bring this up again, everybody. Uh, the latest episode of Joomcast came out last week 
And uh, you can listen to the an interview or questions, six questions put to the two people running for Joomla president. Probably, like me, you cannot vote, but uh, we have instructions in that podcast of how you can reach out to the people who can vote and tell them who you think should be voted for. Uh, we have a new episode ready for Joomcast. We're going to launch it uh, next Monday. So we're trying to put them out every other week. Uh, they're real. It's I really enjoy editing them, but it takes quite a bit of time to edit them as well. So uh, that's really all that we can crank out right now. Also, hey, let's check this out. Oh, no, you can't see my screen here. Here we go. Joomcast, head on over. I just posted the link there. Now, also... There's a new YouTube channel. Oh, yes. I, can I talk about the plugin that dropped the bounce rate on the Smart Drive Test website? Yes, I will talk about it, but I'm going to do that in an actual stream by itself. So, because I still, uh, there's still a few things that we, Rick, we need to get worked out, uh, which was remember how when we started using that plugin, some of the videos were not displaying. I've actually been talking with the developer to sort that out. So, uh, and I and I think it would be a great topic for a Watch Me Work Wednesday. Which reminds me, uh, this Wednesday, Parves from Theme Expert is going to be uh, here on the live stream, and he's going to be demonstrating to us Quix Pro Page Builder. So that's something that um, uh, been trying that we've been trying to meet up on and and, and set up a couple times. Uh, Parvez was going to go to uh, WordCamp Asia, but that's been canceled because of the COVID-19 uh, crisis, uh, um, the, the, the bug, the flu that is there in China, and, and they're trying to keep from spreading all over the world. So Wednesday morning, 6 o'clock a.m. my time, 9 o'clock Eastern, 6 plus 8 Let's see, six plus eight, six. That might be two in the afternoon, Greenwich Mean Time, UTC. Anyways, I'll be posting it right after. And um, uh, the the I've got the thumbnail pretty much all set. Uh, that will be watched and work live stream. Yes, and so uh, Rick's talking about this. Um, yeah, uh, 6 a.m. is early for me, although since I got back from Europe, my sleep has leveled out. I'm tired at night. And I'm more awakeish in the morning. It might slowly be drifting back to normal, but uh, yeah. So, anyways, we'll talk about that plugin because uh, Rick has a lot of YouTube videos on his site, and um, some of the pages were loading a bit slow that had the videos embedded in them, and the uh, so his bounce rate was up. And a bounce rate on a website is a number of percentage of people that go to the site. Oh, here comes the sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a percentage of people who land on a page and then leave right away. They bounce. So he had a high rate on some of his pages, and we lowered that. So that will be coming up. Um, oh, boy. Let me go to my channel here. 1,669 subscribers on my channel now. But what I would like to encourage you to do is go over to this YouTube channel. Ian Oliver. I think that's how it's pronounced. I've never heard his name pronounced, uh, but it's E-O-I-N. Um, he has started doing Joomla tutorials on his on a YouTube channel. And uh, so there's the link to his channel. Head on over there. Show him some love. Subscribe. Ring the bell. And um, that will be fun. I've watched some of them. He's got really great setup. And uh, he's also got a goal to do 100 videos in 100 days. I'm not sure how that's working for him, but that's killer. That's a killer pace, especially if you're going to do them well. Anyways, head on over, check those out, and uh, give, him, give him a sub. Because it's fun to get subscribers. All right. I mentioned Joomcast. I mentioned uh, that. I mentioned his YouTube channel. 
Excuse me, I'm going to mute my microphone for just a second. There you go. Hopefully that's better. Okay. What is new out there, everybody? What are you working on? What do you want to post about? And uh, feel free, show and tell. In the meantime, why don't we go to, uh, oh, I can't open Facebook on this Chrome login. Uh, da, 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 da. So we'll just change that right here on this other screen. And go to Facebook and we'll go to live streams and see if there's what's happening in the Facebook Joomla extension. Uh, yeah, Rick says killer pace is an understatement. 100 videos in 100 days is more like suicidal craziness. Take uh, Talking from a perspective of someone who knows. Yes. Yes, I've said, you know, my goal is to do six videos a week this year. And that includes the two live streams that I do. My client uh, that uh, was running a YouTube channel for has decided not to do any more episodes. So that's going to be an extra one for me to make each week. But um, need, they need to be done. Plus, uh, I, have, uh, I have a little experiment that I'm going to run on my Joomla site to see if I can increase traffic to it. And I also want to run it on Rick's site, on his YouTube channel. I haven't talked to him about it yet because I just saw something last night. So we will see. All right, Ivor. Ivor's always got great links. So does Johan. Okay, and it opened up over here. 30 plus Joomla statistics for the newly fledged webmaster in 2020. It's rare to find a product category ripe with options but dominated by a single brand. If the only content management system you've ever heard of is WordPress, you are part of the majority. Another killer sneeze. Um, hostingtribunal.com. Uh, so that's great. Let's see. Uh, always funny about this stat here. Joomla's downloaded nearly 100 million times, used on 2.5 million active sites. That, I, yeah. I, I know that, uh, um, I love Joomla. I just don't know why something being downloaded 100 million times and being used on 2.5 million times, 2.5% is viewed as a raging statistic. But that's right. Uh, second largest CMS, 5.7 market share among business oriented sites, 9% opt for Joomla, 400,000 400 volunteers contribute into Joomla development and over 800,000 people are registered and official Juma forums. Uh, Rick, don't worry. We're not doing anything on your YouTube channel till I talk to you. Um, so here's a whole bunch of stats here. Cool. There's a good article for us to check out. Hosting Tribunal. Who are these folks? Hosting Tribunal. That's almost like you've uh, when you've done something bad and, and uh, you're dragged up before the Hosting Tribunal. Nick Golov, Golov. They subscribe, test, and value at 14 web, shared web hosting providers. We track 33 web hosting services to date. We subscribe, test it, and evaluate it. Host Zinger. All right. Do, do. Yeah, some great uh, ranking here. Cool. All right, everybody, check out that uh, check out that link. What else we got here? History of Joomla it was Mambo two thousand five. Nice infograph here. Joomla's latest release is three point nine point one, released on November two thousand eighteen. Okay. Oh, then they fixed that down here. The release. Oh. Uh, three point nine point one. Yes. So we're up to three point nine point one five. So slightly out of date. Uh, interesting because the uh, 
Is there a date on this one? No. Ah, uh, but yeah, they have nice graphics here. Joomla usage across the globe. Oh, look at that, Canada. Canada that was not there for picture day. So they got left out. Big in Germany, Russia. Companies using Joomla, Harvard, Holiday Inn, Lipton Tea, eBay, The Hill, Ikea, Linux. So wonder, is Ikea? Let's check that out. Ikea.com, right click, right click. Yes, we accept that, right click. Ah, the right click is off. Ah, right click is off. How do we view code when right click is off? Uh, developer tools. There we go. Now we can be code. Page wrapper. Page enter. Da, 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 da. Doesn't look like your traditional ones. Maybe they've changed some things around. Anyways. Anyways. Uh, companies that use Joomla by revenue. Some interesting look here. Small companies love Joomla. Supporting events. General annual pricing. It's free. It's domain. Hosting provider. Design maintenance. Lots of things there. Oh, and then John's got a link there. All right. Uh, why not Joomla? Content migration in Joomla is complicated. It needs to speed up. The administration is difficult for non-technical people. Uh, upgrading between versions can turn into a mess. These are major versions. And uh, yeah, these are some of the things that uh, need to be overcome. I think one of the reasons, one of the discussions about the administration is difficult for non-technical people is because when you go into Joomla, there's so much that's presented to you. Uh, so for instance, to add an article, all you need is a title and the body of a title, uh, maybe assign it to a category, but there's so many things for publishing and unpublishing. So uh, some have suggested that it'd be great if you, when you log in, and to make content, uh, make an article that there's an easy or a advanced toggle that allows people to just do basic things. But as we've seen many times before, if you're building a site for someone, you can set it up so all they have to do is put information in custom fields. The problem is, is that's when you're building sites for someone, uh, someone who just kind of stumbles along or is looking for a solution uh, just to get, uh, you know, wants to sell some puppies online. Um, might not be web minded, then you know that's the kind of user that struggles. Um, da, da, da. Da, da, da. Okay, so um, I okay, that's Ivor's link there. Johan, open a new tab. Uwix.nl. Oh, you use this? Oh, cool. Oh, this plugin, the hit zero plugin can reset the hit counter for single or multiple Joomla articles. I did not know about this. Uh, yes, Ivor, there are uh, there are extent components that will migrate uh, WordPress to Joomla in a simple way. It, the the content, uh, of course, when you're going from one platform to another, if you're going to move over modules and and that probably not. Um, okay, you agree. Hit zero is free. Huh. I did not know that. Um, what else do these folks have here? UX web development. Breadcrumbs advanced. Foo like a required to you, you page plugin. Oh, it's not there. 
Congratulations, everyone. It's a record number of sneezes for a live stream. Um, fool, fool log component. The fool log component can log all sorts of user interaction on your website. With this component, it's easy to monitor what's going on in your website and keep in track of editing history, especially when you have multiple managers editors for your site. Uh, let's check out the page view here. New field group is created and saved by, oh, that's pretty cool. So this is like, um, see here by the dates 2017. I wonder now uh, with the Joomla user logs, if this is, uh, is redundant or if this does something extra. Interesting, never heard of them before. All right, so another way to reset. Uh, let's see here. Here's a single article, article button. Let's see. Clear all, oh, clear all hits. Oh, that's for clearing the hits. Oh, if you want to put something back to zero. Okay. Now that's not setting something to a number, but that's setting it back to zero. And you can reset all of them. Now this would be a handy tool if you use a core... If you use a basic Joomla install for the when you're building sites for other people, because typically you get in there and kind of get building things, you might want to wipe out the your basic pages like contact and da -da -da -da, contact and maybe welcome those pages back to zero, so it's a fresh start for everyone instead of doing it manually. You could also just do that. Uh, in PHP, let's go back to that screen here. You could in the database here. We could just view CyberSalt content, and then what you would do is here's the list of hits. If you didn't have too many pages, you could just go through and each column and manually change it. And actually, I could have showed that too as another method. But seeing to be able to go in and edit and that you can do things in there is a good skill for people to have. Yes, do I have a way to set up uh, Facebook Pixel and Joomla? I do. Um, I think so. Let's catch back up here. Uh, did, uh, uh, did, uh, what CMS.org from John Moholt. What CMS is using this site? Oh, okay. What CMS is this site using? Cool. So if we go to IKEA.com, that's a cool link, John. Below is the summary of the content management systems found on IKEA.com. Site core, WordPress, EpiServer, to Neos 59 not found. All right, so let's see. It's uh, basic. Man, you guys come up with the best links. Do, do, do. It's using basicjoomla.com. Oh, basicjoomla.com uses Joomla version 3.9. Cool. There's how they detect it. Oh, I like that. Um, any components to port WordPress to Joomla in a simple way? Yes. Let's see. Uh, um, vert press to Joomla. Uh, there's a couple in here. Uh, da, 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 da. How do I? So CMS to CMS is one. Let's go here. Uh, Joomla extensions. Um, I think there is there's a, a there's a site that you pay based on the size of things that are being moved over. But let's go to extensions.joomla.org. By the way, if you didn't see last Wednesday's Watch and Work live stream, don't bother. <laughs> uh, uh, it was a fun exercise in finding out why something wasn't working that had been working before. And so um, I still have to figure out, I still have to communicate with uh, 
Ryan from JCE Editor um, to see why one wasn't. But uh, okay, so that's WordPress importer. Yes, yeah, CMS to CMS is one. Um, J2 XML WordPress importer is a plugin for J2 XML3, which allows you to import posts and categories from WordPress. Uh, I don't know if this is the one here. I have used one. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh. Let's check this out. WordPress. Uh, Uh, let's check this out. J converter. Um, I maybe have used this one. J converter 1.5. No, this is only around since 2015, though. Uh, Chuck says J2 XML works well. Uh, yeah, this one has not been updated in a while. Although it's compatibility is version th with three. Um, but yeah, when I see that the update, now what's the latest review is from 2018. Yeah, I probably would not do that one. Although I, I think maybe that I have. Um, but J2, okay, this one here, J2 XML. It's got two reviews. One is in uh, X, export XML data from WordPress, install the component plus plugin and import. Very easy to use. I have, let me see what I've got here on my computer if I still have what I used. View by details. Just looking over here on my screen that's underneath the camera. Uh, this is here. Yeah. Uh, I should have known better than sort by that or filter by that. Oh, you know where? You know what I can remember, but I can't. Uh, I know how to find out, but I cannot show you this. So I'm going to go chat on right and very quickly go to here. Yeah. There we go. Uh, always important to s s okay oh, oh my goodness there we go I'm gonna change password managers because last pass is driving me crazy with it not working with uh, uh, subdomains Although, actually, that's not the problem right now. So, to be fair, extensions and manage and manage. It was the most recent one I installed here. Uh, that's not it. Oh, it was JConverter. All right. I did use JConverter. Is that mic move? Okay, uh, I did use J converter. So let's go back to right, uh, right computer screen. Yeah, so I did use J converter, although it's older, and I think I, I'm not sure how exactly it worked. Uh, it did work, 
but I vaguely remember that maybe not everything went to where it should be. Although, to be fair to them, I don't remember. But it did work. I did copy all the content over from one site, um, a WordPress site to another. But also, to be fair to me, uh, they haven't updated, it says, since October 29, 2015. So, I don't know. But, uh, as Ivor says, as I bring, was it Ivor? Bring that up. Uh, J2XML works well. Uh, let's just see. Oh, although this is a free, oh, WordPress importer for J2XML. Oh, it's free. It's a free download. Huh. So you could give that a try. If Chuck says it's good, that's good enough for me. He says it works well. That could either be better than good or it's not as good. Uh, set up Facebook Pixel in Joomla. Do, 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 do. Don't buy this, Rick, because uh, if it's a paid download, oh, it's a free download. There are some different plugins. It takes a little bit of time to get things transferred, but it's free. Yeah, and my goal was just to get the content over. If 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 you're migrating from another CMS to Joomla, uh, move the con. I I just want the content moved over, and then especially because the site I was moving it over from was super super hacked. Oh my goodness, there's such a bounty of hacked files uh, in there to look at. Um, and uh, and then you're going to recreate what that person has on that site. And you know probably I would say too that if so if you're moving from another CM uh, site from a CMS to Joomla, those people are already doing a rebuild anyways. Or there's something that they want that's different. Otherwise we don't really need to change them over, do we? Just host them. Um, but uh, it's probably something do different, a new season for that site so move the content over reorganize things do modules get the new look and everything so you might not want to copy everything over uh chuck says it saves users images content yeah those are the big three things that you're going to want to move over so that's cool um yeah i've got uh I've got I've got Pixel running in something on a site. What was it? Um, uh, uh, I I don't remember what I put it on, but I do have something in one of my Chrome logins uh, that tests to see if the Facebook Pixel thing is there. Uh, da, 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 da. This plugin will install Facebook Pixel on your Joomla site, detect and fire Pixel events automatically. The official Facebook Pixel supports firing page view event and down funnel event like lead event. Uh, there's also built-in support for another Joomla plugin, J2 Store. So there's, I think this is probably the one you want to use. Rick. Uh, although if it supports J2 store shopping cart to allow you to fire lower funnel events, we've come full circle, lower funnel events. We started out talking about my colonoscopy and now we're talking about lower funnel events. Boom, boom. Uh, my apologies to everyone who's grossed out by that. Uh, view content, add content, initiate con checkout. Oh, you have the Pixel Tracker installed. Oh, okay. I wonder if I installed it. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, working on a new template for Rick's site using Asteroid. Uh, need something that looks better on the mobile. So I'm kind of uh, into that for some time and uh, was hoping to catch that up. But uh, uh, you you are still not funny. I think you know you are, but and it's important that we cling to your our illusions. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. I thought lower funnel events was really good. 
That's all right. And you know, one of the great things too is that I, I I will be alone in my in a room by myself and think of something funny and will laugh out loud. I quite enjoy my own company, which is good because uh, Thursday morning my wife is heading to Ontario uh, for a meeting and also to then to visit with her daughter and son-in-law and grandson. And so uh, I'm going to be I'm going to have to enjoy my own company for 12 days, and I'm hoping. I'm hoping that I get some work done. And it's not that when my wife is here, I don't get work done. I just don't get work done. So I'm hoping to get work done. Uh, okay, so that's the Facebook pixel. So you've got installed. Yeah, uh, what else? Do, 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 Facebook integration. Do, do Facebook feed, Facebook pixel. Let's... Yours Facebook. Oh, look. Wow, that is nice. Look at that. I typed in the search in the Joomla extensions and got these suggestions that just dropped down. Oh, and that's that uh, Al Algolia. 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 This is a new search thing and um, um, a new system. I've been hearing about that. So when... so. Uh, as often happens in when we search now, like on Google, if you're going to search for something, you begin to type and you get results right away. They've got this here, and that is shiny nice. Yes, Rick, I know you want that on your site too. So let's do that. Al, 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 do, 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 Algolia. Need to look into that. Maybe have someone come on and do a uh, watch me work live stream with that. Oh, I'm blurry. There we go. Um, yeah, so we got uh, Eoris. That's someone we see come up on Facebook from time to time. Virtumart extensions. Bit FB pixel for Virtumart. So I don't need those two. Uh, Husky cookies. GDPR. You can go search more results, but that's probably enough, Eoris. But that's just going to be the same things that we just saw. I'm going to say this one looks pretty good. Although Eoris, to be fair to them, and theirs is ready for four alpha. Um, oh, uh, Eoris Facebook Pixel is an EU GDPR compliant free open source application for Joomla WordPress that integrates websites with the Facebook Pixel system, and lets you measure optimize and build audiences so this actually might be one that you want to look into since it is gdpr compliant uh, rick doesn't need to worry about that although uh maybe uh you know rick wants to get more traffic out of the out of europe so it's probably a good thing to have i everyone's getting so used to uh accepting cookies on something too i think that uh this going to be it's going to happen more and more uh California's got their new privacy thing, so it's going to in, increase. So this might be the one to use as well. Um, Rick wants to get a lot more traffic. Yes. So we will work on that. Okay. Well... Do, 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 do. Anything else out there? What else did uh, did we cover? Everything that everyone mentioned? I think so. Don't want to fall behind. Oh, look at that! That's what I was looking for right there. That information. Okay. Yeah, I think that's all I can think of. If there's anything else, speak now or forever hold your peace until Wednesday morning at 6 o'clock my time. Oh, sorry, that screen changes because I get mousing over things on the other screen. Oh, I know what uh, I saw today. Let's do this. In relations to the Joomla election... Uh, I think we're going to 
you're out of here. Okay, I thought I thought you're gonna stick around for me to call you right after this live stream to tell you how we're gonna get more traffic for your site as an ex as an experiment. But maybe you have to go. Uh, I expect that I'm around all day, Rick. So give me a call, catch up on Skype, and then we'll talk about that. Thanks for tuning in, and and everyone, if you can give the video a like, that would be awesome. Uh, smash that like button. Now, uh, this is the community. Uh, let's go to, there is something on Twitter. Uh, let's see, is it community portal? Let's see. Oh, Ivor had a strange error today. In one article, the customer had done copy, paste, include a class. This class contained text that popped up in the article. Hmm. What was the class name? Uh, oh, this was, okay, and everyone here. Joomla, to, Joomla Group 2 election results and ongoing ballots. So, um, post that link there. So, uh, so the first positions uh, were a claimed, and then uh, we still have ongoing elections for uh, president uh, Rowan. I've been pronouncing her name wrong, Rowan, and Brian Mitchell. So you can uh, go over to Zoomcast. Give you that link there again. You can listen to interviews there. You can read. You can read their manifestos. You can read recommendations. See the dates. We will know. Today is the 17th. We will know on the 24th. What's that? A week today. We will know uh, the results of that election. All right. So your uh, a div ID test class document body. Huh. Document body, yeah. So, Ivor, what did you do to... Uh... All right, Ivor's sending us a link to a casino. Ivor, did you post that link, or have you just suddenly been hacked? <laughs> um, oh, there you go. I see. No, you, you removed the CSS. Okay. Um I, what was the fix, Ivor? Did you change the class name? Oh, I oh I see. Okay, yeah, you removed the uh, the CSS because some uh, access was denied to paste something there. All right. Okay, so I need to get my proper windows up here. And the class showed up, did it? So if we go over here, if, is, it, is it still happening? No, 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 no. no. how happy that guy is he's obviously this guy's been playing poker all night because he is unshaven but he's happy oh okay you saw it with cold view hmm i had a really weird thing happen i pasted some text into an article and uh um, if the article would not show on the front page, I kept getting an error on the page, trying to view it. Uh, eventually, I went through, and it was I, it was just plain text in the article. There wasn't anything. I looked at the code. I went through, and I just started removing paragraph. I removed everything except the first paragraph, saved the article, and then it would show. So I just kept pasting different amounts all the way down, and eventually came to the paragraph 
that broke it and looking at it you could not see what the problem was there was i mean there's no code or anything in it but uh, there were just some strange combination of the i don't know if it's the ascii characters or the text or their values or whatever that was breaking something and i think i ended up changing an apostrophe or I ended up changing some words in it or the size of it or something and then the whole thing would display. So every now and then there's just stuff like that. Okay, let's do some window management here. And if you're just tuning in now, don't forget, head on over to Ian. Ian's uh, YouTube channel, Square Balloon. Show him some love. Give him a happy, excited Monday evening there in London. Or in England. Or in the UK. Wherever he is. And uh, that will be fun. Practice random acts of subscribing. The string also contained data permalink equals... Ah. that's why we get paid the big bucks so clients can paste things the computer does something weird and we go in and say oh that's weird never seen that before and then we fix it somehow to your site And this is your site here, is it, Ivor? For clients. Oh, look at that. Those are reindeer, right? Those are reindeer, correct? Nice. That's the old site. That is one of the largest dining room tables I have ever seen. <laughs> the office of the attorney general. Fish farming. Flooding. Natural, that's natural disaster in Norwegian, isn't it? I'm gonna guess. I don't know what that is. Nice pictures. And I see you have a very early version of Google Maps. <laughs> okay, well, everybody, if there's nothing else, I think that's it for me. I'll move on and tackle a few things here. And I had it, uh, I did not have any cheese yet today. But it will be lunchtime. Well, it is lunchtime here now. There we go. Notice that chat on the right shows up a lot better on the channel now since uh, YouTube updated some things. Everybody, thanks for tuning in today. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks again for a collection of fun links and stuff to check out and talk, uh, ask, asking some questions. And um, I think at this point, you guys are probably all subscribed. So, thank you. Thanks for tuning in. I uh, hope that you are, have a great rest of your evening, afternoon, morning, whatever time it is for you where you are. Uh, don't forget, special time, Wednesday morning, 6 a.m. my time, which is, uh, what did I count that? I think 2 Greenwich Mean Time. Must be, it must be uh, 2, 12, 1400 UTC. Red Sea, you're very welcome. So thanks, everyone. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites, and God bless.